too much. Enough for one weekend. It's We have some room updates. I put my rug down finally. I did like the stickies. Um, I had it under there for a while because people said that might look good and I just really didn't like it. So I pulled it out a little and I like how that looks now. You can see. And then I actually fixed my painting. It wasn't centered with my bed. So I did that today. And then me and Toy put my shelf last night. I'm so happy. Finally got this up. I don't know if it's going to stay like that. I don't know if that uh, photo above just makes it look like too high. But I don't know. That's there for now. Figuring it out. And then um, I guess that's really kind of like it. That lamp's not going to stay there. That's just for the meantime. I just have it there. I need to figure out what to do with these. Um, I was thinking about putting them above here, but I don't know. We'll see. Or I was thinking about putting them, like, on both ends of my bed, because I have two. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. But I've just been, like, cleaning up. Um, the situation is still, I'm figuring that out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I need to go grocery shopping today. So, I'll see you guys. Let's go in a circle. <laughs> Hi. I guess it works. Oh. Which I just got. It's so freaking cute. Um, it's from Cow Pack. Also, I made dinner. I use those, um, I just used the Heart of Palm Trader Joe's spaghetti. That was my first time I ever used it and I really, really liked it. I just did that with like chicken meatballs, sauce I had, and then I'm going to make the sumo orange chocolate covered sumo oranges again. I'm addicted to them. Why are they so good? I just got a pair of package from Cow Pack and it's so cute, so I wanted to show you guys. First of all, they wrote me a hand note, which is always the sweetest thing ever. Hello, Paige. Wishing you the happiest new year. Congrats on the move, and we can't wait to see what 2023 has in store for you. Whatever it is, we're happy to be by your side. Enjoy your new goodies. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, and they know that I moved. I knew that they were sending over first their tech organizer. Well, first of all, I thrive in organization. I love to be organized. I just love when things have their space. Um, so anything like this, I'm obsessed with. So this is their tech organizer. I picked out the polka dot one. How cute. They also have this green one, but I need to chill out on buying green. So I got the polka dot one, which ugh, this is going to be so nice for just different cords, SD cards, um, batteries, stuff like that. Zipper here, zipper here. So cute. And then they sent over a productivity planner. Oh, oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. 
Okay, this is really, really nice. Then they sent over, and they wrapped it so nice. Um, this is their new laptop case, I believe. I actually have been needing a new one. I'm so old, and I have like more of a chic one <laughs> that it doesn't, you know, it's nice to, like this has more zippers and stuff, and it still looks really nice, but like the one I have is just, let me show you. So this is my current one. It's nice, but you know, and it's magnetic, but whenever I go places to work, I really need something with zippers because I want to put like my laptop charger in here and stuff like that. And it's really padded. I feel safe having my laptop in here. Actually, you know, it's crazy. I had my laptop in here once, put it in my travel tote and um, put it under the airplane when I was traveling under the seat and the screen ended up cracking because this just isn't as, <laughs> you know, padded and stuff. So this is way more padded. I feel way more comfortable with my laptop in here. Oh my gosh, yay, thank you so much to them. I love everything. Okay, I have these things linked down below, but now we make the oranges. At this point, like, it's just a sick obsession. Why are they so good? And so I got these new chocolate chips. They're like semi-sweet, oh, so good. And I'm actually re-watching Sex in the City right now, guys. This is the best decision I've ever made. I'm so happy I'm re-watching it. It's just literally the Bible. I love the show. I went to an aloe event. It was so much fun. Everyone was so kind and like appreciative and they gave us these cute sets We did a workout and then they gave us stuff like afterwards too. Finally finished. It starts with us it Took me a while to read it. I just wanted to take my time and it was so good if you guys watched the I mean if you If you read the first one definitely need to read this one. I started crying towards the end It was really really good and I just love a happy, happy ending. I'm tired, so I'm going to go to bed. I have a berry class tomorrow. Very excited about that. I have been making this bagel. It's like insane. Bagel, cream cheese, red onion, scrambled eggs, capers, salmon on top, oil, olive oil. So good. I got these bagels from um, Black Seed. They're frozen and that's like a um, bagel shop in New York. I don't know what came over me, but at 11 p.m. last night, I decided to put my mirror here. I'm gonna switch some things around in my room to stay today and see if I like it better and I want your opinion. I just feel like, okay, I'll talk to you after I'm, after, after I'm done with my bagel about my thought process. I'm gonna show you guys, but it's kind of backlit, so it's hard to see. This is how my room was before. Dresser, mirror. Uh, desk this space trying to figure out what to do with it but I was like you know what the space is so small and kind of like elevated out that I think something flat would look he good here therefore the mirror so I put the mirror there welcome to my thought process put this over here last night and I'll open up the space more because the dresser is kind of in the way of the mirror so I couldn't really see it, like when I'm back there, laying in bed. So then I was like, oh, this is cute. I'm going to do the mirror here. But then I was like, oh no, I don't think I can keep my desk here because now it's in the way of the mirror. 
now we need to move a desk. So I was thinking about putting a desk here and the dresser here because it doesn't stick out as much as the desk. So let's just like try it and see. hate it so that's great okay I need to think I think I really like the dust there and then my issue was like this felt so cluttered before I didn't have a lot to walk through here I don't know if the lamp's gonna stay here because I didn't love it over by this like I feel like the dresser needs its own moment right here don't love the hamper there I don't really know where I was going to try to put it in that little section. Um, yeah, I think I like this more though because it feels more open, like at least over here. I just feel like there was too much going on here and then it was such a tight area to walk between. And I really like the dresser right here having its own moment. And the background's still cute for taking photos right here. Um, okay. I'm thinking. I think we have the new vibe. So what I ended up doing, I actually really like this. So mirror here, love it. This is so much more open. You know, those boxes usually won't be there. I hung up my purses here instead because there was like a gap here. Um, I don't know if I should. Yeah, I feel like that looks like a good distance between the shelf and the mirror. Then we have desk. So. I'm going to make sure that it wouldn't hit, you know, the rug. So this works. And then I put the lamp here instead. I feel like that makes the most sense. I might put that plant back there. I don't know because it kind of felt like cluttered. But I don't like that it's kind of like all black over here, like black dust lamp. And then those candlesticks. I don't know. That's just something small. And then obviously those clothes will be gone someday <laughs> i need to i want to get like an old vintage black and gold trunk i feel like that would look so cute i've been seeing them on pinterest recently maybe i could like put it here or i could honestly even put it like here if i wanted to or here and then have my mirror on top of it it'll give me a lot more storage and i need that because i have nowhere to put these like i have sweatpants and then like some towels and stuff right there anyways we have my dresser here which I really like the dresser here. I didn't know where else to put my hamper. It didn't really look good anywhere else. Do I love it here? No. But does this make the most sense? Yes. <laughs> so, but maybe like once this is cleaned up, that will look a lot better. But I really like that there. And then for now, I just put um, my books right there. Uh, maybe I'll put them by the mirror and then like the trunk here or something i don't know let me know what you guys think um but i think this looks way better way more like open space uh yeah i feel like once that's cleaned up that will look a lot better and then i was thinking maybe i could just put the candlesticks i have then right here so then i have something here um or i was thinking about getting like a big painting I don't know, I already have the candlesticks, so I'm like, that would look good. I mean, where else would I really put them, you know? And then, I feel like, is that it, really? Yeah, I think that's it. That's what we're working with. I have to shower, though, now and get ready because I'm going to get my laser facial done. My hair's crazy. I need to shower, and I'll take you guys with me. I don't know if you can tell so basically my skin right now is recovering like from the facial so right here this like section she really focused on 
so I'm getting like breakouts right here and um this one is so bad but now it's like healing it's getting better I love this facial also it makes my I've noticed it like makes my pores much smaller I had like a huge pore up here I don't even know if it was a pore it was kind of like more of like an acne scar that went deep into my skin and I can tell it's so much smaller now so I'm happy with that facial this time it hurt guys I was I don't know maybe she increased the frequency or something because it's my second time doing it but last time I remember it not hurting that bad and this time I was like gripping onto my sweatshirt like I was I just tried to not think about it she's like making conversation with me she's the cutest person ever and I'm just like oh yeah and I'm like struggling so much but I'm just gonna go over to Michael and Emma tonight and have a little wine night with them chill with them so I'll see you guys there